Hello and welcome, I am the Dragon Lord, and this is Life is Strange, episode 4. Yes, it has finally come out, but unfortunately I have some sad news. Uh, turns out that my computer is being a bit of a bitch, and let's just say I can no longer record on that at the moment. So, I've switched over to the PS4, so no worries there, Life is Strange is not delayed. But, yeah, the choices I made are different from my PC run, obviously. So I'm going to try to go over all the differences now and clear up any uh, misunderstandings. So basically, this run of Life is Strange, Max was a bit more, um... She was a bit more truthful, a bit more honest. So she reported Nathan, still ma she still made fun of Victoria, because Victoria's a bitch and I hate her with all my might. Uh, but she also came out hiding to intervene with uh, Chloe and the weed, which was, you know, nice. And all this stuff happened, you know, I actually signed Miss Grant's petition because I missed that last time because I thought, I don't know, it was timed or something and I didn't have enough time to do everything. That's not true, you can, you can do everything and talk to everyone. I helped Alyssa every single time throughout the whole uh, playthrough, which was great. Uh, hopefully I can help uh, during this um, playthrough as well, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, during this latest episode. I don't think I read David's files last time. That's the only thing that's different in the little stuff, as well as helping Alyssa. Uh, next one was my plan again. I helped Alyssa again. And this time I didn't tamper with the railway tracks. Causing, you know, the train to, like, crash and veer off course and whatnot. I actually found a way to, uh, get around that, so that was good. Oh, that's right. So the main choices with Kate uh, was completely different. Because I told her to go to the police for one. <laughs> I also saved Kate's life. I managed to get through to her. Last time I messed up because I said her father loves her or whatnot. Which is not true because, you know, I even read a letter that was kind of like... Her father was like... Praying for a soul or whatever. But now uh, you had to say it was her sisters that cared for her. Which makes sense. And as for episode 3, everything's basically the same except for Chloe now has David's gun instead of... Frank having David's gun. Also, my plant died. <laughs> I saved Kate, but my plant died. That's how all that works. Oh, that's the thing that's different. I uh, left a mark on the fireplace. Oh, and then out of time I gained entry to the Vortex Club Party. That's all the choices that are different. But let's finally get into episode 4. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this episode for so long. So let's go down and play... The Dark Room. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, man? I've come to save you! Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, I've also noticed that, like, all these scenes play out no matter what you choose. Time to start the search for clues. Like, it never shows the actual choice you've made, which is strange because I think in The Walking Dead it, it does, but obviously this is a different company. So, yeah. Dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being sexy time. Friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking yeah, dad. Yeah, of course the guy's dead. Hold on. No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Until you found out that you broke Chloe. Oh, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Dun, dun, dun! 
Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Alright, we're at a beach. Don't mind the dead whale, just move on. This is a very somber opening. It's a whole bunch of giant dead whales. Life is Strange, Episode 4, Dark Room. Can't believe I'm actually playing this. Finally. Oh my god, she's walking with Chloe. Well, I say walking, but... This is so fucked up, man. What the hell? <laughs> Where are the people? They're like heaps of dead whales and there's just no one here. Weird, hanging out with you again. Oh, she can actually talk. Holy shit. I'm glad we are now. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. I should just stole Chloe. So, Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. Ooh. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. <laughs> uh -huh. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> well, the worst At least she's thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Mm. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. This Those is so sad. Are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. Wow. At least, I'm alive here with you. And so is your dad! I, I saved your dad! So, you know, that's, that's something, You're right? a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Um... Uh... Hmm. I'm not gonna talk about the accident. You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. <laughs> I felt my back snap. Oh, God! And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh, my God! When I woke up in the hospital, I... Literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus Christ! I I, I don't know what to say. This is so fucking heavy. Me. Jesus Christ! I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, she didn't know Rachel. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? <laughs> that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. 
but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Ha! <laughs> uh, what? Uh, like this Chloe, like, she seems happier, strangely enough, but nah, this isn't my Chloe. Also, it's so weird to think that Chloe's voice actor is Ash from Hey Ash, What You're Playing. Just found that out, like, between the last episode and this episode. I was like, what the fuck? Blew my goddamn mind. But anyway, I digress. So, can I change things back, or...? It is it's a pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. Wow. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. <laughs> You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Ooh. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? I honestly thought that Al was in real life and I was wondering what the hell was that? <laughs> Cause I got fucking surround sound headphones on at the moment. And I just, ugh, oh, that tripped me out so hard. Oh! First things first, let's bloody look at the pictures. Oh yeah, also another thing about the pictures, took every single one! So let's see... The fuck? Alright. Uh, so, it goes left from to right, I believe. So, I need to find a window, then bird, then whale, windmill, rocks, heart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's, a uh, fucking the skeleton from, uh, the school. I can easily do that. Alright. What else was I gonna do? Was I gonna do anything else? Oh, yeah, text message. Alyssa! Hey Max, it's a shame you hang out with those people, I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god, I was so not aiming at you, I saw- <gasps> Oh my god, this is me, it's like- We're like seeing- <laughs> We're like seeing like- Ah. Oh. We're like seeing the other side, this is weird. Max, you busy girl. Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help out. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop, and you are helping me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who, FYI. Uh, save me a bowl, gotta bounce. Talk to you later. Come by my room tonight. What the f- This is so messed up, man! This is crazy. What the hell? Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mum. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mum is a badass like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. This is so messed up, man. Oh, shit. Yo, yo, Max, you're around in the dark room developing shots for this contest. Sweet. So no two whales for you? Not yet. I'll see you guys. Ah. He's he. Peace out! She's hanging out with goddamn Nathan! It's a mist, man! 
What's this? Oh god. We need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people are, use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude. And please don't be snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one, and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use the credit card when I needed it. I only bought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later, I have to go. Don't pout, love you. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget the, to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mummy. Oh, I, I did drown it though. So sad. And finally, Chloe. Jesus. Hello Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. I hope. Bye. Hey Chloe. Maxine here. I know it's been a while. Just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that's so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So yes, this is still my, my number. Cool. I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. Happy face. Oh boy! Okay. Snow globes are taking over. They're pretty though. I like me some snow globes. Oh, oh the dough! The snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. That's so weird. <laughs> uh, what else can I look at? Um. The hell? Oh, I was like, is this like a, a treadmill? No, it's a fucking ramp. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. I mean, like, yeah, I guess you did. <laughs> that is actually really horrible. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Hey, make a wish. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. Bad. <laughs> okay. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Read. Chloe, you know we love you and your in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa. So that's my parents' name. Interesting. I Thank wonder you. who this is. So Trying sorry for what happened. Card. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick, no a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want to get in the way of our friendship. Don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well, love me. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. <laughs> well done, Max. Oh, bathroom. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. At least they're not poor now. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Mm. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That's pretty cool. Chloe is still a punk at heart. Ha <laughs> ha. She can't stage dive anymore. Oh, I mean, she can, right? I mean, just that she's got to have so someone throw her. Chloe has made friends online. So what are you doing, talking with you? Ha <laughs> ha, no shit. I'm about to br binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god, love. Scott Bakula rules. Who the fuck? So do you. I hope we can meet soon. Now if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're bringing on Bakula. You better? Hello? Hello? That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. There's the old Chloe. There we go. Punk ass bitch. Max is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Oh, here's a window. That's Wait. a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? That's really she depressing. Can't even feel the grass now. Well, she can still feel her face. Just I'm put her face first. Photo. Be fine. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. That's really horrible. I apologize. <laughs> this is just really a sad episode. I don't know what to do. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. <laughs> wow. Oh man. 
But she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Oh god. This is, this is the window, right? Where I can take the picture? No? Yes, maybe. I need to be there, like a carrot. Wait, really my only friends are kept in touch. That's really sad. I, instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Ask her! Drink up, Buttercup. Wow. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? What's the with the podcast? A pod in a cast. Wow. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Hmm. Or another dimension. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running into the <laughs> bay. Adorable. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, Aww. I can't keep all my other friends away. Uh, you have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. What? And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. I am Supermax! That's what my parents are for. What are you on about? Uh, are you lonely? Yeah, are I know you lonely? This is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though, or get in any teen trouble with the folks. <laughs> I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Oh yeah, can wait, can they pay? They look like they're doing fine, but I don't know. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Holy Holy shit. shit. You're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. <laughs> Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. <laughs> you, on your own. you better not fall uh... asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not Next there. minute. Not yet. <sighs> Drip. Ugh. The hell? That must be her mighty morphine machine. Oh. Wait. No more bongs for her. Why does she need morphine? She's paralyzed. I don't think she'd be in that much pain. And then again, it shows me it shows what I know about paralyzed people. Nothing but medical supplies. Is that really surprising, there, Max? Really? She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Wait, what? I really don't know what, like, paralyzed people go through. This is kind of enlightening. Tissues. What? Thanks. I, uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, that butterfly thing. <laughs> so <I've heard. laughs> oh. Alright, um, can I do, can I do, 
anything. Oh, there's a DVD player. Search. Aha, here's the DVD. Nailed it. Open. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. <laughs> nice. Pirate power! I really. I I see her as nosy as ever. Yeah, well, you know. I don't want to disappoint you. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. Damn. She could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. <laughs> if it wasn't another reality. Ah, uh, so they couldn't. They couldn't um make the school wheelchair friendly because you know budget cuts and whatever. Hmm, that sucks. Anything else? Wait, what the hell? What's up there? Be brave. <laughs> right, DVD. Let's watch Blade Runner. <laughs> All right. That is one uncomfy chair. I wonder how many times she's seen this goddamn movie. Huh. Can we go back to the real world now? <laughs> this is really depressing. Oh. Did I fall asleep here? What the hell happened? Yes, so. God, what she do? Like, what does she do? She can't really do anything. believe you fell asleep so fast how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i, can <laughs> I love her sleepy face me. no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> I really want to leave this reality. It's so awkward. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you, pretty please, go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. <laughs> but you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. What the? Ah, oh, so that's what the morphine's for. But she's already got morphine. What the hell? That must be her mighty morphine machine. Weird. No more bongs for her. Uh, let's leave. Wait, is there anything else around? Can I take the picture yet? No. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even look. I assume not. But I can always go through a second time and run. God damn, the bills never end. Hey, William. Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? 
Uh, where the hell's Joyce? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? <laughs> uh, Prescott family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Yeah, how are they in this reality? Alright, fair enough! <laughs> Sounds like you know them well. More than I Still want evil. To. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. What?! I don't even like to think about it. She doesn't work at the uh, two whales? That's so bullshit. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. Huh. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Wow, that was really dark and really didn't need to be said, but thanks, what William. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. <laughs> but all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened. To Stop me. saying sorry, it doesn't make anything any better. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, mm -hmm. I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Okay, room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance <laughs> helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. Oh yeah, I spoke again in morphine. Sorry, Chloe. <laughs> like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh, Victoria, fuck off. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure we, uh, since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me. Sil <laughs> Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. What the hell? Piss off! Alright, just piss off. Now let's see how these bills are. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Oh, Fifteen days? Holy shit. <laughs> Donald Clamp? <laughs> these whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. So even if she wasn't friends with Chloe, so she still went missing. Interesting. But then, didn't they give up? Like in the other reality of uh, trying to look for her? Hey, that place. Yep, it's the same graffiti from before. <laughs> Butterfly effect. La 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 la. Uh. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. Alright. Joyce is a food coupon boss. Makes sense. Save. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. <laughs> Anything else for me to look at? No, no. Sad face. Oh, nothing even on the phone? Damn. 
Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Hmm. They're drowning in debt. Holy just to take shit. Care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Holy shit. It's so expensive. It's insane. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? What's all that picture? To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Yeah, it's pretty trippy to think about. Ah. Wasn't there a loading screen last time I had to do that? House. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. <laughs> Shut up, dog! I'm trying to record. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too. For God's sake, dog! Where are ya? Where are ya? Bastard. I actually don't know. Chloe actually removed our drawing so she could see it from her room. <laughs> Chloe. Depressing! Grave. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Ah. Uh, also, Bongo Kitty? Like, really? No. Nah. Woof, 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 woof. Is anything in the girl? Damn. God damn! Just for Chloe's basic supplies. Holy shit! How much money do they have to spend on Chloe? Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Can I talk to them now about it? Oops. They might get their own home taken away. Yeah, so sad. Hello again, William. <laughs> Paris trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. Ha. I thought it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. <laughs> you act like it's the last... <laughs> All right, let's go get Chloe's morphine. <sighs> All right, all done. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Hello? Oh, trippy. It's empty, there's nothing here. It's just sad and depressing. Clothes, toys. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. <laughs> Do it! Oh. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Aaron seems like a nice guy. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I okay. feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Change it back then! <laughs> I'd rather have Chloe hate me. The choice of keeping William alive. But that would be cruel. That would be cruel. And she'd probably want to keep William alive, right? That they're a family again. And who am I to judge? Oh boy. At least we never had to hide from step douche. <laughs> Bloody step douche. Hey, look at this. I guess we stopped growing up together. Mm hmm. Booster. A blue butterfly? Dude. I'm sure this is a total coincidence. 
That's trippy. Crutches. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. <laughs> Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Wow. Aunt Dorothy? Alright, let's leave this depressing room. Before we go in there. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? <laughs> Open. Hello! Hey! Holy shit, is that Joyce? Oh, Joyce! This is so nice to have you around. Hey! I mean, don't mind me just walking into your room, but you know. Uh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Aww. William! I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. Also, I like your hair. So much, and she can't stand sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... this is not what I want to hear. She... Do you know what I'm saying? She dies. I'm so sorry you have to go through what? all this. What? Bad or good, what? I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. What? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. This is fucked up. David Madsen. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Cute. Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. She said cute. She, she said cute. I, like, really? Dave, cute. Yeah. Ah, I mean, everyone has their own taste, but Jesus. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Bloody Stay Sean. away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. <laughs> Depressing. Oh, ashtray. Oh, someone to smoke it. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. So I'm saying Chloe's smoking, it's Joyce. Joyce is nice. already a super mom. 
Dr. Bill? Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Oh my god. Oh my god, she is dying! What the fuck? This is so messed up, man. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. <laughs> William is trying so hard. Super Dad! He's still awesome. <laughs> super Mum and Super Dad! It's kinda cute. Uh, is that everything? Yeah, looks like it is. Wait! Check the window! To the window! To the wall! Nope. No bird to that window. Alright, let's get a bloody morphing. <laughs> It's been a while, but yeah. Uh, search. Nothing here. I mean, pills and such. Pills here. P -p 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 pills here. He uses natural medicine too. Um, I thought she said it was upstairs. What the hell? Oh. Uh. <laughs> the bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Hmm. <laughs> Ha -ha! I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? <laughs> Funny. I think I look older. Time Tripper. Nice. Oh, let's turn the lights off, alright? Let's conserve power. Jeez. They got enough bills already! Oh, this is the garage. I just realized. Sorry, Chloe. Uh, got a little distracted, not gonna lie. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but... Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. <laughs> of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm very <laughs> high. <laughs> You're so adorable. <laughs> Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Oh, yes! Yes! Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Ha ha! Ha ha! Dude, this is where we go back. This is where we change it back. Hell yes. Let's kill William! Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. <laughs> he actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed Solid. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Can I just like get up and leave? That'd be really awkward. All right, turn page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Yeah, ain't that the truth? For you. That stop being depressing, please, please, Chloe. I can't deal with this. Is there literally no other options? Why even give me the option to turn the page? That's strange. 
Oh man, there we are making pancakes. Oh. I love that shot of us. There's the picture. This picture. I believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. I know, right? Literally seems like yesterday. <laughs> I wish it was. Me too. Go this back. Photo. Maybe I could. Go back. Go back. Go back. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing. I know. I know, Chloe. Please it's only stop. Getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? Holy what shit. Saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running Please around stop. Sea Bay, Please. Everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. What? You understand? What do you mean? Yes, I do. All you have You're to do time. is crank up the IV to 11. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, what? 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 She won't do it. I won't do it. I mean, I would do it. I mean, what? I, 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 you can't. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? This game is literally giving me an option to kill my best friend. To pull out, to put her out of her misery. This is assisted suicide. This is what this is. There's a reason it took so long to put out because it like got caught up by the fucking uh, rating service or something. Like what the? Ah. <sighs> uh, ah. Uh... I, I don't know, refu- I- I- I don't know, I don't know! I, I honestly don't know. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? It's true. I mean, th there's gotta be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. Oh, fuck. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once. I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. Fine! You want me to do it? I'll fucking do it! Chloe. I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. She's like, you're actually doing it. Holy shit. Dude! Dude, your parents are gonna kill you! I mean, her parents are gonna kill you. I mean, Thank what? you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. What? Don't forget about me. <gasps> Never. I love you, Max. I love you, Chloe. See you around. Sooner than you think. Huh? Um. Um. I don't even know what to say. What the fuck? Oh my... She's dead! I... I killed her! 
I actually killed her. Um. Ah, finally, focus on photo. I'm sorry, William. We have to change this. We have to go back. So how do you fucking? Uh, uh, there we go. To save Chloe! After killing Chloe! <laughs> Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Right, it doesn't even give me a choice. It's just like, yeah, you're hey, you're not going down this path. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Did she burn the photo? And no Chloe and Max what wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make you really a really had no reason to do that, but sure. ...with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me! That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. <laughs> 